Who should Red Bull choose to partner with Stappen in 2021? That's what we'll find out in this episode. Let's get started. Red Bull Racing's second seat is currently one of the most lucrative available on the Formula 1 grid and the team hopes to make a call by mid-November. Albon's meteoric rise has been such that it has only been two years since he looked set for a mid-grid Formula E seat before Red Bull came calling. Albon's eye-catching form at Toro Rosso, allied to Pierre Gasly's struggles, prompted Red Bull to promote the inexperienced Thai British driver to the front-running mark. However, as Gasly did before him, Albon has struggled for consistent performance and has regularly been a substantial chunk behind Verstappen. Red Bull boss Christian Horner has indicated that the rear instability trait of Red Bull's cars is hurting Albon just as it did Gasly before, with Verstappen supremely adept at driving around the issues. It took Albon 18 attempts to secure a podium, though in fairness, Lewis Hamilton denied him twice before and in the same period, Verstappen claimed 10 podiums which included 2 victories. Albon has been given a lot more time in the car than his predecessor Gasly but still chose Daniel Ricciardo, Sergio Perez and Lando Norris in the championship and is 83 points down on Verstappen. Albon still has time on his side to prove his worth to Red Bull but Helmut Marko, sounding out rivals, adds public pressure to a driver who has endured a fraught couple of events. One problem for Albon is that the trend has not necessarily been upwards, if anything, his progress has stagnated. A return to Red Bull just over 12 months ago was almost inconceivable for Gasly, who couldn't settle at the team following his promotion from Toro Rosso at the start of the 2019 season. But as certain as his downfall was, Gasly bolstered his reputation immediately, capping a mostly sour season with the podium at last year's Brazilian Grand Prix. In the Fienza squad's new identity of Alpha Tauri, consistently strong performances peaked with a shock victory at Monza as Gasly survived sustained pressure up front to deliver the win. Gasly all but secured his future in F1 with a memorable victory but with which team? If Red Bull loses faith in Albon, then it appears the company does not have trust that Gasly would be the favorite to replace him, which suggests Red Bull could, for the first time in over a decade, look outside of its camp. A handful of months ago, Sergio Perez was safe and secure at Racing Point and looked set to spearhead the team into the Aston Martin era. However, the Silverstone-based squad ousted the Mexican for Sebastian Vettel, leaving Perez on the market for the 2021 campaign. Perez has outlined that his primary goal is to stay in Formula 1 and a seat at Red Bull, which is currently more competitive than the Racing Point team is a viable option for him. Perez has had an excellent 2020 season and holds fifth in the standings despite missing two events after being struck down by COVID-19. His qualifying pace is one relative weakness, that is not to say it is a mark against his status more than he excels on a Sunday. He is also supremely dependable and has finished in the points at each of the last 15 events that he has started in. Despite Perez's long longevity in Formula 1, he is still only 30 years of age, young enough to not just want a paycheck, old enough to bring heaps of experience and motivated enough to show his capability with a race winning package. Perez also has healthy financial backing which, while not a huge importance to a brand as large as Red Bull, would nonetheless oil some of the coffers. And if Perez was to follow in the footsteps of Gasly and Albon in struggling, it would surely prompt Red Bull to analyze whether the problem goes deeper than the drivers. Following three super sub appearances in 2020 with Racing Point, Nico Hülkenberg has brought his name right back into contention for a Formula 1 seat. After being ousted at Renault at the end of 2019, the German has previously said that returning with a team that can compete for points would be enough for him, so the prospect of getting in where he could at the very least, bury the hatchet surrounding zero podiums is tantalizing. He has previously blown opportunities, but if the chance is there every weekend, it relieves some of the pressure. The apolitical Hulkenberg is unlikely to seriously challenge Verstappen, but will surely slot into the ideal number two, backing him up through strategy and interrupting with his own speed when he needs to. He has shown the ability, 
third on the grid and the second Silverstone event was outstanding and his rise to eighth at the Nürburgring validated his position as the fastest unemployed person in the world. Hockenberg also has a good relationship with almost compatriot Verstappen who said he definitely deserves to be in a front earlier this year. So who do you think should partner Verstappen at Red Bull in 2021? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, now it's time for meme of the day and here it is. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.